issue of the accountability, I mean, the, the accountability of the board is a key issue of governance. The theory means that the, the board is accountable to the shareholders. The problem is to know who is representing the shareholders. And we have a real problem of uh, governance because today the shareholders are everybody or are extremely spread all over the market and they are represented by uh, proxies and not represented by themselves because they are either uh, manage through fund managers who are not themselves defining what they want to do at the General Assembly or to vote the, the various resolutions. So what happens is the proxies are giving instructions in order to, to propose recommendations to, to shareholders or to fund managers. So the, the accountability to shareholders, clearly the board has to be accountable to shareholders. But my view is that the board is not only accountable to the shareholders, it's also accountable to the stakeholder of the company and to the uh, company itself. So there is a big debate between uh, continental Europe and the uh, Anglo-Saxon world on the concept of interest of the company versus interest of shareholders. For the Anglo-Saxon way of doing business, the convergence between interest of shareholders and interest of the company is something which is totally obvious and which is which doesn't mean that there is a potential conflict of interest. The sensibility in continental Europe is slightly different because even, even if everybody recognizes that the two interests are converging on the long term, it's a question of time. It's whether it, it, the, if the interest of shareholders is a two years inter two years terms, and if the interest of the company is a five years or ten years terms, then you could have a conflict of interest between the shareholders and the company on that in that matter. And we have seen many many cases of these examples through private equity funds. We had a very short period of uh, inter period of time for recovering their investment, and they have uh, strategies built up on this very period, very short period of time when the interest of company could be a longer period of time. So, to, to answer your question, I think there is potentially a debate within the board is to whom they should be accountable. They should be clearly accountable to the shareholders, but they should be also accountable to the company itself because they have to defend the interests of the company. And sometimes they are in situations of uh, uh, in situations where they have to make the arbitrage between the interests of the company and the interests of the shareholders. We do every every year we do in the world more than 60 uh, board assessment of major companies. What we have learned by combining the experience we, we've got through these assessments is that uh, are the following. The first point is the size of the board is a key factor of efficiency. A big board is less effective than, than a small board. The second thing which is extremely important in the efficiency of a board is not so much independency because I mean all the uh, regulators, all the proxies are making a big case about independency. The dependency is defined on a legal point of view, which has no sense in terms of efficiency of a board. The dependency is a question of independency of spirit, the ability of the person of being an independent character in the process of decision. It's not a question of legal rules. It's not a question of defining whether you have been in conflict or not. We have a stupid rule, which is to say that uh, somebody after 10 years or 12 years is no longer uh, independent, which is totally crazy because some people are not independent after one year, some others are still independent 15 years Later. So we are defining rules which are extremely strict, extremely uh, general, and that which in fact are very far from what is the exact purpose of the game. So coming back to my point, if the criteria of efficiency for a board is the size, the compositions, and clearly you need to have a compositions which is not to try to make the nicest pictures on, on, on the wall to have the, the people who seem the, the, the most adequate. The question is to have people who are able to work together, who are complementary and who are more important than independent because I mean, if, people, if, if people is a real manager, he will be an independent-minded uh, person. The question is to know whether the, the profile, the combination of profile of the people and the maturity of profile are such that they are able to deal with difficult situations. So the quality of the the quality of a board is much more a question of combinations of uh, talent, of complementary uh, talent, and if you have these elements put together, then you could have good board.